everybody it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts and I was asked a few weeks ago on share day about the crocodile um, so let me pull my camera up here a little bit better here um, and how to get I'm told that I do my uh, eyelets pretty well well I kind of do but it took a lot of practice and I'm not tooting my home but I did I messed up quite a bit and I don't want you to think I didn't now on this side you got you know, one eighth of an inch size, and you've got nine, uh, three sixteenths on the other side. So this, the one eighth is real small. Three sixteenths is fairly large. So you know that the fairly, fairly large one is going to go with this particular one. There's only two on it. There's the small, and then there's the bigger one. The smaller one is the one eighth. The bigger one is the three sixteenth, and that's going to be about that size hole. Okay. So these little knobs on the side is actually going to regulate how far up and down these go, they, how far deep that you want to go in. And this is a one inch, I believe that's a one inch measurement. So it should be fairly easy to be able to get the right increments of um, centimeters and um, a fourth of an inch, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, however that you want to do it. Now the, the tricky part that I noticed that everybody has a hard time with is actually, let me put this back is actually this part. Now I have it set and it's on three. You can, if you look really close, I don't know if you can see it, there's a three. I actually use the three at the bottom right hand corner for the three sixteenth, which is the larger hole. Now for the smaller one, I actually tend to, most of the time I tend to use the same one. <laughs> and it's getting kind of beat up, but uh, it, the bigger you go, on, it depends on how big the hole is and how big the um, eyelet is. Um, and you can use bigger ones and this as long as you can crimp it. But I wanted to show you. Let me put it back on three. And if you look, there is one. You can look in the bottom little corner. It does say one, two, three. And, my, and then there's four. My recommendation is just for you guys to play around with it. Um, I'm working on a banner for the last of the birthday party. Now I'm going to show you, I'm putting, I already popped a hole in with the 3 16th. So you just put it in and I want to show you this. And I believe it was Michelle who asked me this. Now I want you to watch. I do it very slowly and I do it gently because if you do it too fast it puts it in too hard. I just gently pop it. And if you look in the back, see, and I'll show you again. But a lot of people don't see those itty bitty numbers. Gently squeeze. Now if you over squeeze, I want to see if I can find something. I've got all this paper that I've been working on. Oh, you know what? I can use these little chip paint chips. Now I pulled out some extra eyelets to show you. Now I'm going to cut or pop a hole a couple times to show you. Just randomly. This is gentle. I'm going to show you gentle first. And I did yellow and it popped off. Okay. I'm not going to use the white because I got plans I'm using that on the banner. Now I'm going to do gentle. See how perfect it is on the back? Now, if you squeeze too hard, I'm going to show you that I'm going to squeeze really hard. Now look at the difference on the inside of the circle. It, it makes the circle smaller and imperfected compared to the more gentle one. Now it'll also roll it tighter and if you don't watch it will split them. I've seen that happen if you do that. I've also seen it smash it completely down. But just be very careful on your um, measurements. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to do four so that you guys can see the difference. And you'll hear a click. See, and that was gentle. And on the back, you really, like I said, have to play around with what works with your eyelets and your pressure that you're using on yourself. Um, I could show you two, but I don't want to go any farther down on that with the bigger holes. Okay. Yeah, that's something I had to discover that there were little bitty numbers at the bottom right hand corner. 
and I'm sorry for not getting this on there earlier for you Michelle just been awful crazy now I'm going to use two at the back and I'm going to go gentle and it just makes a hole just a little tighter now if you look see depending on how gentle you do it's almost per better than the first one but if you look at the back you'll see that it splits more and I don't know if you can see that it actually splits more when you go smaller when it shouldn't be look how perfectly tight knit that it is on the very first one but like I said I use three um, and three and two are the two that I use the most but you have to look again be sure to look at the little bitty numbers at the bottom hand on the right hand corner and I hope you enjoyed this video and it, it and explain this if you have any more questions feel free to to email me find me on charming custom crafts on Facebook um, I have two pages on there I'm shutting down the business one look under people it has uh, you'll see a little picture off to the side um, like it or personal picture but it's gonna be a blue daisy and it says tips and tricks um, request me I'll put you right through and um, I'll see you there bye